So this is a uh, B three three one three. Yeah. Um, also known as Mario sixty four internal plexus or just Beta Mario sixty four. I don't. I think the official name is just B three three one three, but no one's gonna remember that. Um. So this is uh, this is a game that was recommended by Yellow uh, back before I started another Mario adventure. Um, I didn't want to try it because I wasn't sure if it was going to be, like, a standard hack, and I kind of want to just play through, like, a normal 120-star game. Uh, now that I've done that, I'm trying this out. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it, necessarily. This could be kind of like the Zelda Classic, like, grab bag thing. But, uh, as we can tell from the music here, I'm kind of expecting Freebie Pasta vibes. I have played a very small bit of this. Like, basically just making sure the game was running. So I've seen, like, what the, um, lobby here looks like. So, um, I, also we can apparently switch to Luigi. Uh, Mario and Luigi both have kind of god-awful voice clips. <laughs> that yeah noise always reminds me of, uh, the guy that gives you the Song of Passing from Wind Waker, and you get to hear it every time you long jump. There's also, uh... No, what was it? Yeah, that, that... Oh, that I, my voice is apparently still dead. That other noise also sounds like that guy. But... Anyway, see, I'm going into this with basically no information. I don't know if it's, like, a full game. Oh my god. <laughs> um... Uh, see, like, part of me wants to just start exploring weird shit and see what we find. Let, let's see what this is. Uh, um. Yeah, it's like, I, I don't know what to expect from this game. Uh, because this is, uh, hot off the tail of the whole, like, you know, every copy of SM64 is personalized like, the game has this weird negative aura iceberg creepypasta shit that started showing up. Um, which I don't necessarily hate that stuff. I just, I also I don't know, I've never really been into that, like, I keep using the word creepypasta, but it's like, you know, I've read some that were interesting. Um, and I like making fun of bad ones. But, uh, I don't know, I never really got that vibe from this game, and so whenever I hear people say that, like, this game was actually, like, super scary as a kid, I can't really relate to that. Um, I will admit I've had, like, weird recurring dreams, like, not frequently, but every once in a while of, like, areas in the game that don't actually exist. And I've also had those about Banjo-Kazooie for some reason. Um, so, it turns out we will find those exact areas in this game, and uh, all of my life will have been uh, validated. Yeah, I have no idea what we're doing here. This place is kind of weird. I actually think I saw this in one of the trailers. Oh, there's some texture issues. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's a ROM problem and not meant to look that way. Uh, is this just kind of an endless void? Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and establish right now. We're using save states in this one. Not because of difficulty, but because of testing stuff. I don't want to, like, get into the habit of having to redo things over and over just because I'm stubborn. Oh, I actually swam through that. Was I... What? <laughs> I feel like I wasn't meant to do that, but maybe... Let me just go back up here. I want to see what's up in the weird, untextured hole. Yeah, clown vomit. What the hell is this thing? Oh. Well, apparently I didn't... Oh god, you can see your eyes. Oh, that's terrible. Um. Yeah, I, I could swim through this without needing the Vanish Cap for some weird reason, so... 
Not needed, but okay. Oh, there was no... Yeah! Okay, where the hell am I? I will mention that uh, the controls are subtly different. Like, there's the obvious thing of the triple jump turning into a spin jump like that. Um, does the backflip also? No. Uh, the swimming was different. Like, you can't turn in place without actually swimming. Okay, see, I, I genuinely have no clue where I am. Oh boy, wet dry world. Um, you know what? Why the hell not? Hit a fast travel. Okay. We'll play the game like this. Okay, what does the FOV look like? I mean, I guess... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks about right. I have no reason to uh, mess with such... Oh god, did I fuck it up? Can I... Okay, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I might have already messed up the uh, camera a bit from how it's supposed to be. So yeah, the very few things I know about this hack are... Uh, I saw some comments on, like... This, I, I saw somebody saying, like, a lot of the levels feel, like, empty in kind of a creepy way. And it's, like, they said it was, like, almost, like, AI-generated levels that are, like, trying to seem like official ones, but not quite. I guess we will uh, see if that is the case. Well, it's definitely feeling unfinished, which, uh, was the case in the original game. That's not, like, me making fun of the hack creator. You know, sections where there's just invisible barriers for no reason. Most notably, the back of the castle, like, the outside of it. Okay, so... What am I doing in this place? I, I, do, I like how we've just immediately gone, like, off the beaten path and just started exploring weird shit. But yeah, here I am thinking I'm gonna, you know, just go in the castle, pro go in what's the intended first level, dick around in there for a bit. But no, no, we're just immediately finding whatever the fuck this is. I can't tell if Luigi is jumping higher than Mario, because I didn't really play as Mario. It could also just be that the physics are changed in general. <laughs> no! Hey, what do you, what, what, oh, you, you look angry. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do this for a while. Also, yeah, some of the sounds just... Like, some of the actions just don't have noises. Oh, is that so? I, uh... I'm guessing that is... nothing. But, uh... That was, uh... That, that felt like that was a reference to that one sign in, uh like, the second floor of the castle that says, like, please be quiet while in the halls. People are like, what does it mean? Alright, well. If there were anybody, uh... Oh, did, did we kill the bob -ombs? Is that is that what I did? No, they're still around. I killed some... I guess those were just Goombas. 
Uh, <laughs> it's hard to tell, like, if this is even supposed to be, like, a normal level. Does it say if I pause? No. I probably will if I get a star here. I'm thinking it might actually be worthwhile for me to, uh, like, after I get a star here or whatever, I might want to just reset the game and, like, actually explore the castle proper. Because that's the other thing that I've gathered just from reading through some comments is I think this game has, like, how would you, it, like, I, I think, like, the layout of it is inconsistent. Things don't always lead to the same things that they should. So, like, maybe it's pointless for me to try to learn the layout. But, uh, I figure I'd still want to at least try. Is there even anything to do in this place? Like, that's a stupid question. I feel like, of course, there is. But, uh, so far I have yet to see that. Hearing more Bob on Buddy noises, so. Can I talk to you underwater? Nah, I should maybe lower the water level. So, yeah, I was uh, saying earlier, I don't know for certain if this is going to be like a full game playthrough. It could be if I uh, like it enough, but. Uh, I also liked the idea of just kind of trying out a few different things. There were a bunch of them that were recommended by uh, Ultima, I believe. Some of those sound like that could be kind of cool. I'm kind of wanting to stay away from like the really major ones. I've like I've still never played Star Road. <laughs> There's like the um. Basically anything by, like, Kaze, like, everybody's played those. I kind of want to play the, like, lesser-known stuff. I say that playing this, knowing that this is probably, like... What the hell is this ground pound? This is probably one that's uh, gained a decent amount of traction. Because people like their uh, weird, creepy shit. Yeah, I'm starting to feel less and less convinced that there's actually anything to do in this level. Like, there's gotta be, but I don't know how long I want to keep looking for something when I don't really know what I'm looking for. Like, there's a wing cap there. I might have to come back with that. Like, there's the tower I could potentially somehow get on top of. I could make a bunch of noise near the doors. And then suddenly get jump scared or something. Turn the camera through the wall, see the family burning to death in Kakariko Village. You know, all that good stuff. So is that... Yeah! No, it's actually from the betas. Because, like, I know that last year or the year before, like, I forget how long ago it was, there were, like, a bunch of Nintendo game betas that got leaked, and, uh this was one of them, and people are like, oh shit, Luigi was in the game all along! It's like, no he wasn't, he was in the beta. Which is a little bit different. But, uh... I know that there were some weird-ass sound effects. And I'm getting a little tired of exploring this place, so I think I'm gonna just try to leave. Exclusive to the show. It's... What? What do you mean it's exclusive to the show? What the hell does that mean? Well, anyway, back outside the castle, so let's immediately uh, go off and do other stupid bullshit again instead of actually going in the like main level doors like I said I would. Oh yeah, I noticed these uh, 
like Paper Mario looking flags. It's the same thing as the life counter, but it looks very Paper Mario-ish. Which is inconsistent because Paper Mario didn't come out until years after this game. Okay, what's your deal? Well, that sounds imposing. Okay, um... <laughs> Alright. Why, why, why does Toad statue have no arms? I didn't know Toad was a robot. Robots ain't got no arms. Mickey lives far away. What's the point of this balcony? Well, I can apparently jump off of it and die. And I can see the, uh, shit going below the level back there. So, again, you know, accurate to the real game. Uh, this sounds like something I shouldn't do, but let's do it anyway. Is this going to be the freaking Wario apparition? Okay, there's a star there. I'm totally going to be able to get it. I, I, I know I'm going to get jump scared by something, and it's uh, slightly upsetting. Oh, is this just an endless walkway, or am I actually getting closer? hell is this shit? Is there... Okay. Like, I, I can't tell if that's a Goomba or, like, a flame. If it's actually the Wario Apparition, I'm gonna fucking laugh. I'm also expecting to, like, turn around and see something stalking me. Was this pit here a second ago? Why do I hear bob on buddy noises? I was hearing those, like... God, that yell. That sounds... Okay, that sounds like the fucking Daffy Duck slammed his penis in the car door sound. And in fact, I'm convinced it might actually be the same exact sound. Alright, we're going down. Maybe. We're going down very slowly. I might have, uh, made poor choices. This is Mario Kart music. Is it Mario Kart 64? Bowser's Castle? Can't tell what I'm doing. Okay, I did not need to go down that slowly. And it was for nothing, okay. Well, I'm sure there's something in there eventually, but maybe not yet. Let's actually go inside the castle and do something. So I checked in here when I was testing this, um, and this does lead to the courtyard, which is a little weird to me because I thought that the area behind the castle, like, outside was the courtyard, so I guess there's just two courtyards. How's it going? Kind of like that. Oh. Is this a DS level? This is absolutely a DS level. But the DS didn't come out until years after the original game. This level couldn't have been real. I, 
I don't know where I'm going with that. Like, if we're if we're going with the lore that this is actually a beta, we could just say that, like, this was a scrapped level or something. How's it going? What the hell was that death noise? Okay, is this actually just a star? Because that's too easy. That's gonna be, like, another warp or something. Daffy Duck, shut up. I forget, was this originally a Collect the Silver Stars level? It was either that or Red Coins. There definitely wasn't just a star sitting here. Also, I like these uh, balls just sitting there, okay. Well, let's get the alleged star, which is totally a real star and not a warp to some hell dimension. Actually, hold on, is there anything up here? No, no there is not. I can't do a handstand on it. Okay, that is apparently is a real star. Oh fuck, it took me at this place again. Okay, I don't remember which door I took last time. Are these all real? Oh god, they are. I'm never going to actually check the main doors. Uh, man, how many levels are in this place? Okay, I guess we're checking the desert, because I'm here, so why not? Yeah, there's never any hint as... Oh, that thwomp face. I like that. This is... oh, that good statue. This level actually looks pretty, uh, substantial. And once again, I have a feeling I needed wing cap here. If only, uh, collecting shit... wait, what? Okay, interesting. Uh, was I saying a sentence? I for I, I got so distracted. Yeah, I was just saying, if only collecting stars didn't dump you off into, uh, wherever the fuck it keeps dumping me off. Now, for all I know, that could just be, like, the door at the top of the staircase on, like, in the main lobby or something. I okay, hold on, what is... Oh, it's the beta flowers. I remember these. All right, come here. Come here. You, you, we have a job to do. You stuck? Not for long or not. Had to test it in the name of science. Okay, so what are these? Just Kern. It's weird seeing the boxes on the ground. Oh. Okay, so is this actually a proper level with, like, multiple stars? I don't know because it dumped me back into this place. I don't think I've gone this way yet. Okay, that is just where this is. Good to know. So if I want to go into creepy-ass, poorly lit hallway area, that's how I get there. Let's actually see what's behind door number one for once. Uh, it's Gorilla Glacier, apparently. And walls made out of Minecraft, sand like, sandstone blocks. Okay, we have one out of five or six stars in Nameless level. Good to know. Was that actually a red? Yes, it was. Was not expecting that to be a money bag. I'm also not sure why the first level, or at least the door blocked with a number one, is a uh, snow level, but we're, uh, we're break breaking boundaries here. We're not going with standard grassy level for level number one. That is okay. Actually, no, it's not okay. I demand a refund. 
But does this game have 100 coin stars? Is now what I'm wondering, because, uh... I... Actually kind of forgot those were even a thing, due to the previous hack not having them. There's a pretty good chance that this game will. Hmm, I'm liking this, uh... Recorded off of a radio using a cassette tape sometime in like 1970s Mexico music. Okay, I've got to find out. Hold on. I'm sorry. Th this is important. It is absolutely the same noise. All right, good to know. Yeah, death. I see when I when I saw the frickin' Daffy Parappa video and heard that noise, I assumed that was just like a noise that Daffy made. And I, I'm still not convinced it isn't. But uh, I don't know what it's doing here. Obviously, this uh, copy of the game was personalized to have that particular noise because it knew I would recognize it. Oh, good. My favorite. Yeah! So yeah, obviously the uh, best use of my time playing like a new funky hack with like all this non-standard level design philosophy is, uh, you know, coin collecting. You could have made anything and you made bomb excavation on day one of Mario Maker 2. This is what you chose to create. Disgusting. No! Also, I'm not the only one hearing that jumping noise is the Roblox oof, right? It's like... Hold on. That one, that... Ooh! Not to be confused with the Minecraft oof, which is... Ooh. this, uh, just weird polygonal cloud. That's looking like weird polygonal cloud. I am, uh, I am wary of stepping out onto it. Oh, oh god damn it, no! No, I... Okay. Guess we're collecting coins there again. So, none of the stars have names. None of the levels seem to have names. So, let's see what our options are. So, door number one is Gorilla Glacier. Door number two is uh, Alpine Ridge. Let's see. Three is... Uh, through the eyes of Glutko, by which I mean Hellbully. And door number three, part two, is... Um, just the ocean being a waste of space. Okay, what is this? Well, there's the metal cap switch. Okay. Swimming is really weird in this. Good skybox, mate. K. 
camera, please. I don't know what the camera thought it was getting stuck on there, but I'm pretty sure the answer is nothing. Alright, I suppose I'll hit the switch and get the yump. <laughs> Split second of Daffy Duck scream. I assume I'm gonna get a text box, yeah. God, the swimming sound. <laughs> what was that pulling up noise? Hold on. Eh. Yeah. Never gonna get over that noise. See, Metal Cat music is unchanged. I actually don't know if I want to hit this. So there's the last two Kern. Swimming over that ravine made me feel uneasy. I don't know uh, if this game is uh, made in such a way that there can be uh, boogans hiding in the water. And by boogans, obviously, I mean uh, werewolves. Okay, hold on, what? Okay, this is the red coin one, because it's above the, like, dotted line thing. Okay, so I guess I do want to drain the water. Because, uh, I don't know why there's a second switch there, and why it's orange. Does it unlock the secret orange stop and swap egg that was made... That was alluded to in the, uh, Jetpack remake? Eh! I do kind of like how you enter levels with the, uh, like, post-game triple jump bounce. It is unique. Alright, so, why is there a second switch, and what does it do? Are there any boogans in the water? deep does that go? Uh, deeper than I care for. Is this just death? No, it's just there to make you uncomfortable. Okay, good. Hey, you have a fear of, uh, like deep underwater areas and, like, claustrophobia, then there we go. How about these? Are these also pointlessly deep? Uh, that appears to be the case. Yeah, no need to bother with those. Yeah! Alright, what do you do? Yump! I did not yump. Oh, did I now? What do you mean? The fuck was that? Why do I have ten stars? And now my hat's gone. Okay, I didn't see my star counter go up when I hit that switch. I, I guess that just kind of gave me a bunch of stars for no reason. Also, how, uh, where my hat is at. Is it back in here? Is it at the bottom of the fucking Mariana Trench? I, I say that now, I, I'm like, shit, is that actually what it's called? I don't want people to be like, hey, you asshole, it's actually the Marina Trench. It, it's totally at the bottom of the trenches. 
uh, game. And the game has frozen. Why? I, I am certain I can't tell you. Knowing this game, I uh, don't know if that was intended or not, but uh, we're going to go ahead and reset here. Yeah. We might have to just uh, not have a hat. Well, I'm trying to see if the Mario jumping is as high as Luigi. Yeah, it feels like it is. I'll play as Mario for a bit, I guess. Is his hair normally that dark? Doesn't match the sideburns. I don't fucking know anymore. This was a different painting before. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> okay, that's the same. Ah, oh, shit. Was that, like bully painting like a rare occurrence. Let's see what this is. Okay, it's not quite Lethal Lava Land, but very, very similar to Lethal Lava Land. Um, I kind of like that. good platform that you have out here. Oh! How much? Okay. Where the fuck am I now? Is this just, uh, you're dead and this is the castle you go to after you die? Is this a real painting? No. Uh, I was about to say how much damage does the lava do, but I just realized I'm hatless, so that's why it did extra damage. Where the fuck am I going? Oh my god, these ghosts. Was that piano there a second ago? <laughs> Where did the ghosts go? Okay. <laughs> like, this game is fucking despawning shit. Why is the sign rotating? <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. What the fuck am I doing? this shit. Oh my god, this is actually, like, hilarious. I... Th this is really well done, because it's, like... So far, it hasn't thrown any, any jump scares. I'm still expecting it to at some point, but, uh... It's definitely giving a really off-putting vibe. And I appreciate that. What the hell is this area, and why is it so large? And why is the shading so bad? Okay, I think this is where I came in. Also, this rendition of the castle music is spectacular. Are we, uh locked in an endless labyrinth here, or is this eventually going to do something? Well, it did something. I don't know what. It gained a divot. Yeah. 
Okay. I, th this area is actually starting to remind me of the recurring dream that I mentioned. <laughs> it's not quite. That place was like... Um... G good area. Um... The one I'm thinking of... Th there's a couple. One of them is like... There's just kind of a side path somewhere in the castle that's easily overlooked, and it leads to, like, kind of a big open room with... I, th I seem to remember kind of being pastel colors, kind of like the floor here. And it just is like a bunch of big blocks and shit to jump on, and... Oh. 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 Yeah, it's just kind of like an obstacle course, and not a particularly good one. It's just like, can you jump between the rectangles? So... I will say the, uh, the reuse of Forest Maze... Oh my god, what is this shit? The Forest Maze doesn't seem like it would be in a genuine game, but, uh... Like, mainly just because... I, I don't see Nintendo using a song from, like, a... crossover game like that, but, uh... Not that it was a crossover, but, you know, it was made by Square. But I appreciate the song, nonetheless. Okay, hold on. Am I actually progressing, or is this like an endless stairs situation? Uh, it's really hard to tell. Okay, we're doing something. I feel like I'm going through the fucking battle pike. Am I gonna go through a door and a trainer is just gonna be like, Oh, sorry, I paralyzed your whole team. Uh, lol. Where are we going, game? Oh, fuck off. I'm gonna run into something while speeding up and miss it, and then I'm gonna be sad. Oh, shit. Uh. Okay, is there actually a way through the forest maze? Because it's not like there's branching paths, it's just... T Take a long hallway. Shut up with that shit. Did I... And it actually muted everything. Good. Is that what I needed? Was that the key to success? These aren't changing colors. Okay, now they are. Oh, this is do. Do, not new. <laughs> Fucking Christ, where am I? Okay, we're still in a uh, post-death castle. Is what I'm gonna call this. How do you get here? Fuck if I know. Other than just die on a level, I guess. Um. Uh, nice missing texture. My, my only goal at this point is to get back. <laughs> like... The fact that this place is so gigantic is, uh, worrying me for if I actually do want to do a full playthrough of this, because... How the hell do you even quantify what a full playthrough is when everything warps you around? Like, what is this? You can't just put two yellow circles on the wall and act like that's scary. I don't know if that was meant to be scary, but shut up. Uh, 
Okay, is that gonna be the same fake wet dry world as last time? Uh, nope, it's not a real painting. I kinda have to check all of them. There's Gorilla Glacier. Okay, this would be the mirror room normally, and it still is. This is gonna be fucky. Oh no, you don't have a reflection. It's because you're dead! Snowman's land entrance. This is fucking DS version again. Or not. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's Hell Bully. Uh, we'll never get to find out what the Hell Bully was. Um. Okay. So far, I've yet to see if this area has a point. these pillars or something. There might not actually be anything here. I have to recognize... Oh, I'm stupid. There's an invisible... There's a fucking vanish cap right there. I probably have to walk through the mirror with it. Alright, well, if I get the vanish cap and then somehow end up back in this area, I guess I'll do that. I saw some shit around that corner. I don't know what it is yet. Oh. Oh. Yeah, take me back to whatever the hell this place is. I, I want to figure, figure, finish exploring this. Okay, never mind that. For, from a distance, that painting looked glitchy. I don't like this sniff it. It mocks me with its smug aura. Because, like, from a distance, it looked like it was looking right at me. And I'm just like, what is this thing, like, follow you around? But no. Well, I hate Tiny Huge Island even in the vanilla game, so I... Do I even want to know what's in here? Oh. Oh! It's another fucking DS level. <laughs> this is the... This is the place where you unlock Mario, isn't it? Does the floor still kill you? Yes, it does. Okay. And it has sent me back to wherever this is. Okay. Um, fuck, how did I even get back there? Did I have to go through the forest maze? Castle, please. I'm begging you. Start making sense. This is gonna drive me fucking insane. Hello, reverse tiny huge island room. Um, oh my god. Where the fuck am I now? This isn't the same snow level I was in before, is it? I don't think it is. Alright, so I've learned one thing from this hack so far, and that is, uh, you don't navigate it. You just don't. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, okay, we're done. <laughs> oh, that was actually a game over, okay. Well, so I will, uh, I'm going to be fully honest here. There is, uh, one thing I've been disingenuous about in this video, and that is when I was testing it, I did find something and I was hoping that I would just kind of trigger it and then like, like I, I didn't see what it led to, but I saw that something happened. And I was hoping that I would trigger it again so we could see that, and I was gonna probably be like, oh, what's this shit? Oh. But, um, it was in here. I think it was, like, in the center. 
It the, the level just kind of shifted. Yes, that was it. Okay. So here's Ella's real. Alright, what are we doing in here? This game presents me with too many options. I never know what I should do. Okay, that's an invisible wall. I guess my first option is what happens if I try to leave. Is this just coins? No, that seemed pointless. What? How did I do that? No, I want to go down there again. There's like a misalignment or something. Something's fucky with this collision. Oh my god. Can I please? How did I get it? It's like... Shifting me. Eh, I don't know if I can get it to happen again. Alright. Well, we can either leave, or we can go down the mystery pathway. I'm gonna choose mystery pathway. Another pointless box. Is this the same area? Yeah. I didn't realize there were two of those side by side. I walk alone down dark and corridors. Nice misalignment, bro. And I walk alone. Okay, hold on, can I? No! Can I actually get up there? Yes. Um, okay, how big is this place? Bigger than it really needs to be. I do like the auto heal. Not sure how to feel about these pointless boxes yet. Okay, what is this for? Oh, yeah, shit. Wasn't there a thing that was, like, if you had ten stars, you could look up and it would warp you somewhere, like, in the original game? I think Yoshi mentioned it. I don't even know where you would go to do that. I'm kind of expecting this to be, like, you know, break all of the hidden boxes and something happens, but, uh... They're... Pardon me? Okay. I thought it warped me to some other hell dimension again, but, uh, no. No, that was just the camera being bad. Oh. Oh. Alright. Well, at least I kind of know where I am now. All right, back to this place. Um, I think I've always gone left here. I've never checked the other way. The fuck is this place? Is this just a bigger version of the second floor? It has a similar layout. found something. That was the Lethal Lava Land text again. I want to know how many levels are in this game, because so far it seems like a million. I 
I, I probably should not be bothering with collecting coins. I, I'm never going to stay in a level long enough to get 100. Because it'll either mysteriously warp me out, or, like, I'll get the star and it'll put me somewhere totally unrelated. This is just... Hold on. This is Cool Cool Mountain. I'm just now realizing that. Or at least it's very similar to it. Yeah, it's not exact, but it's got a lot of the same architecture. Oh, okay. So much of that. Yeah, fall off the bridge. No! Alright, so I guess my question is what's down by the, uh... Oh! I was going to say what's down by the wall kicks will work star. I have no fucking clue what's going on in this game. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's something down there. I don't know if it's anything pleasant, but we're about to find out. Wish I knew what was causing the uh, shifts in reality. Yeah, it's like this is cool, cool mountain, but everything's too big. Oh, and I guess this area is just unfinished. But there's like there's shit down there though. No, that's just lava. Okay. Um. Do I need to be in the lava version for there to be stuff here? How do I trigger that? Can I trigger that? Am I just fucked? I'm thinking I might actually just be fucked, but, uh... Oh my fucking god. Okay, hold on, I get it. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah. Alright, so we've still not checked out uh, Alpine Ridge. I'm going to continue calling it that. I should also see if the Hell Bully painting has come back. Oh god, it has. I'm, like, actually kind of anxious about this one. What is this going to be? It's Lethal Lava Land again, um, but different. There definitely wasn't a star there. Okay, um... Never know when the level's gonna just suddenly shift. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna record this, but uh, at this point I am definitely wanting to do more of this. I still don't know if the game is even, like, beatable. If there's even, like, an actual ending. Um, but... It definitely warrants further exploration. Is this Bowser in the Fire Sea? Kind of? It is. Okay, is what, what's going to happen now? This is going to be quicksand or something. No? Okay. I don't fucking trust this game at all. Okay, there's the star, allegedly. Uh. Alright, let's try to get the star. Is it real? Yup.
I, I guess we'll end there. <laughs> so we have six Castle Secret Stars somehow. And I have no idea what these levels are. Um, let's actually... I'm gonna, like, cheat a little bit here. Yeah! Okay, so yeah, I have... I've been in what the game thinks is... Womp's Fortress, Jolly Roger Bay, two from Cool Cool Mountain, uh, Lethal Lava Land, and two from Dire Dire Docks, apparently, which is the level that I got 82 coins in. So that Snow Mountain at the beginning apparently is level 9, and I somehow got two stars there, even though I only went in it once. Also, yeah, wait, when I hit that one switch, how many stars did that give me? I, I don't fucking know. I'll have to look at the footage. But yeah, this is, uh, it's been interesting. We will have to do more. And, uh, don't burgundy when you can brown. <laughs>